Okay, so now I'm continuing on to figure out what it is that part of the message that we missed. It was either saying that Jesus is the Son of God and part of a trinity, when the Quran itself doesn't understand the trinity, and I've given a video refuting the Islamic view of what they think the trinity is. What else could it be? Saying that Jesus was crucified? Well, if you turn with me, please, to 4 verse 157, it says that they said, We killed al Messiah, al Messiah, Issa, the son of Miriam, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him. But so it was made to appear to them, and those who can, who differ therein are full of doubts, with no certain knowledge, but only conjecture to follow, for of surely they killed him not. So, this means what? Allah made it look like it was Jesus on the cross. See, appear, made to appear to them. But, it wasn't him. This shows us what? That when Muslims say that the Gospels are corrupted, this is a lie because the Gospel writers are recording things as they saw it, as the people saw it, as it was. Meaning, it was Allah that deceived people for 500 years by making it look as if it was Jesus on the cross. So, they, we believe that, but it's Allah's fault that we did if it's wrong. So, he's going to judge us for saying that, we, that they crucified him, and it's through his perfect, sinless death on the cross that we are saved. But it's his fault for making us believe it. And didn't he know that that would start the religion of Christianity? If this is not what he wanted? Allah did not know the future. He is not a God who knows the future. There's no prophecies in the Quran. And the only ones that there are are stolen from the Bible. What I mean by that is that there's no new prophecies. There's no new revelation. There's nothing new in the Quran. And anything that the Quran does teach, it's from the Gnostic Gospels that were rejected because they were written hundreds of years later and not by the disciples. Here endeth the lesson. Jesus is Lord. Islam doesn't make any sense. Amen.